Outside exits, so they had to put this thing in. Oh, It'll be really? fire All those codes are in. Oh, I'm taking pictures of you. <laughs> it's, I'm sure. I'm sure. Yeah, it's the same wall. They just power washed the final? Yep, final wash, power wash and sealed, and then. <laughs> With the dive, I think Harry just pulled. Did he go to the shotgun? Yeah, he's bringing shotguns to school. <laughs> <laughs> All right, as you, you were, you're now standing what was the grass when you were in school here. Uh, we took all that out, put these, stacked these science rooms on top of each other. You can see the, as you come on forward, you can look up and see the old Township High School sign. We discovered this when we did Boar Gym in the early 2000s, and we just saved the concept here. What we're going to do is go, we're going to walk down the hallway. We took all those small rooms. You remember the real small rooms in the old building? Took them, took the middle room, divided it in half, and made really decent sized classrooms out of that. We're going to walk outside. We're going to, I'm going to open a door, and you will see the heating and cooling plant. No longer steam, no longer boilers, they're big units. It's called VRF, which is variable refrigeration. The same unit heats and cools, and it can change instantly between the two. Well, by instantly, I mean 30 minutes. So, and if one side of the building needs heat, which we in this the transition periods, this side will need heat, but the east side in the morning will need cooling. It's perfectly capable of doing that. It, and in autumn, you know, there's a computer sits over in Washington School that makes all those decisions. And as long as it doesn't get sick, we're in good shape. <laughs> and as long as the power stays on, we're in good shape. But anyway, just to see, I'll show you, the, I'll have the door open and then we'll walk through the shop area. I want to tell you that this is a huge addition, probably quarter million dollars to build this building around this. And I thought it was it. the uh, engineers were idiots, but you know. <laughs> the units are designed to sit outside. They're supposed to be outside. That's the way the company manufactured them, they sit outside. Our engineer insisted on doing this twice, once here in Washington, Washington. We come to discover Muhammad, who has the same plants that there's outside. They've gone through seven compressors mm. in four years. Okay. We haven't had, we have, the only hiccups we've had here is the normal teething problems you have with any new system. No compressors, not really very much of anything else went wrong with it. So I apologize for being <laughs> here. And we continue to hire the same firm. So anyway, we're gonna walk out. Walk outside, I'll have the door open, and then we're gonna walk through and into the old wood shop. We'll talk there, and we'll go on from there. No problem. 